Incoming! Hey, Eric, you made it. I did. My paddle's I'll excited. That you can grab that. Me, yeah? Fun part's getting out. <laughs> shot here. There we go. All right. Ah, terra firma. Good to be on it. Absolutely. Good to see you. Glad you made it. Heard so much about Ben's camp. I'm ready for a nice tour of the whole place. Well, we've got a lot to show you here. It's a beautiful summer day. We're here on the Cisco Chain of Lakes and celebrating 125 years of Ben's camp. 125 years. Yeah. I want the history along with all the fun stuff there is to do then. So Eric, there's a ton of ATV and UTV access around here at Bent's, but today I want to take you up to a special spot that we can access by UTV. We can get on the trailhead up here and uh, check out the Sylvania Wilderness. So the Sylvania actually straddles the subcontinental divide here in northern Wisconsin. And this is all pretty much natural forest too, right? There's some areas that were replanted, but a lot of it looks like old growth forest. Yeah, definitely. It's cool as you approach the border here, you do see a lot of different hardwood stands like this with just beautiful maples. And then there's some dense pine forests as well. A lot of the Sylvania is actually old growth, big white and red pines, some jack pine as well and spruce. There actually used to be a sawmill at Ben's camp you know, back in the day when they were building all those buildings, it's not like they they could go down the road and buy lumber. They yeah. Had, they had to cut it all themselves. So this is our destination. Oh. It's a hidden gem. <gasps> oh, this is cool. <laughs> Sylvania Wilderness. So being situated on the subcontinental divide here, everything north of here flows into Lake Superior and eventually the St. Lawrence and the North Atlantic. Everything south flows into the headwaters of the Wisconsin River, just south of town here, into the Mississippi and the Gulf. So what that does is a lot of these lakes are all spring fed. They're super pristine and they've been untouched for 50 years. So it doesn't get much more pure than the air up here in the water. And the frozen over, you can have fun with them in the winter. Yep. And a whole different kind of fun here in the summer. Because I'll tell you this, I'm not kayaking on that thing in the winter. <laughs> so yeah, there's lots to explore here, lots of primitive campgrounds. You know, you can go in for a three-day canoe trip in here and stay on a different lake every time, wow. make your way around the forest. And it's right near Ben's camp, so the access is unparalleled. I mean, you can go by boat, or kayak, yeah. or car, or UTV, or whatever, to access all this. Exactly. All right, well, thanks for the Sylvania tour. Yeah, nice little hike in the woods. Yeah. Should we uh, head back and hit the lake? It's I think we should. Warm. There's water, sports, beverages, and more to be had, right? Yeah, I'm All ready right. to jump in. I'm in. Bents is located right here on the south shore of Mamie Lake, which is the very southern end of the Cisco chain. So we've got 13 cabins here. Some of them are super historic and were built over 100 years ago. King's wow. Castle, which we'll swing by here, was actually built in 1896. And that's the year Bents Camp opened? Yeah. Yep. Wow. There's a lot to do here. Tons of piers with power for fishermen who want to get after it early in the morning. We got the beach for the family to play out. And of course, the bar and restaurant. We got all the bases covered here. Absolutely. I love it. That's great. And these are some majestic trees. Yeah, some of these trees are, from what we can place, about 100 years old. This one right here, we've actually got a picture of it as a sapling with this cabin in the background. And now today, it's wow. an absolute mammoth. It's bringing out the tree hugger in me. In fact, I think I'm going to hug it. <laughs> Come here, you. Yeah, so this bar was built in 1906. The restaurant originally had a dining room here with the kitchen right there. These birch bark walls and cedar strip trim is all original. That's great, and the view out the windows, phenomenal. Well, looking at that pontoon boat sitting out there, I don't think we should waste any more time getting out on the water. I agree with you. There's a big map in the back. I'll give you a look at where we're gonna be heading today. All right, let's plot our course. Okay. All right. 
Yeah, so the chain is shaped kind of like an X, and we're on the bottom right here in the southeast corner. Where it says you are here? Good guess, Eric. So yeah, here on Mamie Lake, we can head up to East Bay, West Bay. We might dip into Michigan a little bit. I can handle that. I've lived there. <laughs> and really, the UP is practically Wisconsin. Well, the pontoon's actually just down on the end of the point by okay. some of our more secluded cabins. So let's go hop on. We'll grab the cooler and hit the water. And roar out from here. All right. This is really cool, the way you can just interconnect between the lakes. There's like 270 miles of shoreline. We saw a couple loons on the way here. We saw whatever the heck that was flying up away. What yeah, I think that? that was a blue heron. A blue heron? Yeah. Okay. You know what's really interesting? When we don't say anything, I just hear complete natural silence. That sounds pretty nice. It does. Yeah, you don't hear any traffic up here. You know. <laughs> a lot of the fish you can catch out here are big muskies, obviously. That's one thing that the chain's known for, and all the pan fishing you can imagine. Every single lake around here, you can go out and catch a lemon and perch or bluegill, no problem. And then aside from that, there's world-class bass fishing. Bluegill's fun too, although they have sharp teeth. Yeah, um, those fish, I only you know, know that because <laughs> I got assaulted by one when I was shirtless in the lake one time. Oh no. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of food in the lake that summer and they were extra hungry. I'm floating on a noodle. Chomp, chomp, chomp. No way. And when you don't know what's chewing on your nipple, that's a terrifying <laughs> moment. I can imagine. So here's the deal. Every time there's a fish fry and bluegill's the special, I'm like, that's what I want. That might be his cousin. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> So you get the impression that not much has changed around here in a long, long time. And Bent's Camp established in 1896. So I mean, can you imagine what it was like before that, being one of the early settlers up here? Well, from what I've seen in the history that we've reviewed over the past few years, is that a lot of these old pictures look just like this today. Charlie Bent, when he took over Bent's Camp, he turned it into uh, sportsman's paradise and made it all about conservation, and not necessarily hunting for industry it definitely changed the course of this area for many years and that's why it's so pristine today. I think we should move along down to some other lakes and possibly hop on the ski boat. What do you think about trying a little tubing? Okay. I'm good with tubing. I kind of want to water ski myself. Well then you go ahead and water ski and I can drive the boat. Sweet. Looks good. Ooh. Very good. Very right, good. This looks terrific. I think right. we're good for now. All right. This is good stuff. And you said this place was built in 1906. This building itself has just about always been used to serve the guests of Ben's Camp food. And they used to grow their own veggies and fruits in the garden here, hmm. you know, serve venison and fresh fish. While we can't necessarily do that today, we still try and provide the best food possible to our guests. Zach, this was really fun from the moment I rode up here, literally rode, kayaked up here. Yeah. Thank you for the tour. Yeah, thanks so much for coming to see what we have at Ben's here. Whether it's bait, booze, or beer, I got what you need. It all starts with a B. Bait, booze, and beer at Ben's. Off-county B for Ben's. <laughs> Cheers right. to that. Cheers to that.